टुडे आवर टॉपिक इज इंसेक्ट पेस्ट ऑफ पैडी जनरल स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ एन इंसेक्ट इज लाइक दिस दिस पिक्चर शोस अ जनरल स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ एन इंसेक्ट इंसेक्ट कंसिस्ट ऑफ थ्री प्रॉमिनेंट पार्ट्स हेड थोराक्स एंड एब्डाम दिस आर द वेरियस टाइप्स ऑफ इंसेक्ट्स शोइंग विच आर कॉसिंग सीरियस डैमेजेस टू वेरियस क्रॉप्स The main crop among all the other crop is rice, Oryza sativa. It is the most important and stable food crop for more than two third of the population of India, and more than sixty five percentage of the world population. More than hundred insect species are associated with rice crop at one stage or any other stage. Twenty of these pests are major economic significance, and these pests are classified as. borer pest sucking pest defoliate foliator pest non insect pests the insect pest of paddy these are the various borer pest of paddy yellow stem borer gall midge or gall fly uh, sucking pest of paddy is like uh, green leaf hopper nilapper vada lugans uh, nephotitics virus ants white leaf fly brown plant hopper ear head bug and thrips first is pest is paddy stem borer which is a major pest among all the other pest scripophaga insertulas it belongs to the family pyralidae belongs to the order lepidoptera the adults are yellowish white and orange yellow front wings and they have sexual dimorphism The female moth is bigger than the male and has centrally situated black spot on each of its fore wing. The females also have prominent tuft of brownish silken hair at the tip of the abdomen. Moths are attracted towards light in the night during March, April and October, November. Yellow stem borer this is the differentiation between male and female moth. the male moth are smaller than the female and uh, the females have a tuft of hair at its abdomen so this is the life cycle showing the egg stage which is creamy white colored egg flat oval laid in mosses and covered with a tuft of hairs on the tip of the leaf the body of the larvae is cream or pale white or yellow colored and the head is reddish brown the pupation taking place inside the stem itself the pupa turns dark brown just before the adult emergence it pupate at the base of the plant this is the adult moth that we have already seen so this is the diagrammatic presentation of stem borer its life cycle for egg stage it uh, remain egg for about 5 to 10 days and then into a larva hatches out Well, in the larval stage it is persist for about 30 to 40 days and then into pupa the pupa is for 6 to 30 days it uh, remain dormant inside the stem itself and then it hatches out as an adult within 7 to 8 days the nature of symptom and the damage yellow larva that bores into the central shoot of the young seedlings and tillers and feeds internally on growing shoot causing dead heart symptom that is drying up of the central shoots and interrupting movement of water and nutrients at the boot leaf stage or ear head stage the larva bores into the topmost node and feed at the base of the ear head and succulent ear heads dries up and becomes white ear head or chaffy ear head and such ear heads are easily come out when they are pulled out see this is the pictures showing dead heart symptom chaffy ear head and dried condition of the ear head symptoms the pest can be identified with the following symptom dead heart at vegetative stage which turns into brownish curls and dries white ear heads at ear heading stage with the empty partially filled grains presence of egg mosses near the tip of the tender leaf blades activity of the moth in the vicinity frass at the feeding site see this is the uh, diagrammatic uh, schematic presentation here 
you can see the adult uh, how they suck the leaf the green leaf hopper and the rice plants infected with the rtb paddy leaf hoppers next pest is paddy leaf hopper there are two types of hoppers nepotitix virescens and nepotitix nigropictus belongs to the family cicadellidae order hemiptera Paddy leaf hoppers are found in all the rice growing regions of India. Adults are small green wedge shaped hoppers with the hind legs having one or two rows of spines. Adults are smaller in size than the female and the nymph. Green colored insects with the prominent black spot on the apical portion of the forewing and the two black spots in the middle of the forewing and do not ended up with the black distal portion. Here you can see the negro pictus. Adults are dark green in color with a prominent black spot on the apical portion of the forewing and has two black spots in the middle of the forewing or extending up to the black distal portion on the forewing. Green leaf hoppers. GLH means green leaf hopper. It is a common pest irrigated wetland environments. They are not prevalent in upland rice. So life stages of the pest showing the following schedule. Eggs are inserted into midribs of the group. 3 to 18 uh, eggs will be in a group. Incubation period. IP means incubation period. That is about 3 to 5 days. Nymphal stage is completed in 21 days. Adults live for about 7 to 12 days. There are 6 overlapping generations in an year. The third pest is brown plant hopper, Nilaparvada lugans, belongs to the family Delphididae, Hemipteran order. The adults are brown in color with 4 to 5 mm long, yellowish brown to dark brown body, more or less wedge shaped, hinge tibia with a large movable spur is present, Macropterans are strong flyers. Young nymphs are whitish in color and measures about 0.7 mm in length. Nymphal period is for about 5 to 20 days. The eggs are elongated in size and sugar shaped as you see in the uh, picture. Instead by female, two or three rows on either side of the midrib of the leaf sheath. Incubation period is about 7 to 9 days. There are two adult forms are present, macropterous form, fully winged form, brachypterous form that is short winged form. They show the differentiation that these macropterous form have well developed wings whereas brachypterous forms have poorly developed wings. This one have smaller abdomen and brachypterous have larger abdomen. Macropterous form move from one field to another in colonies, but Bractypterus uh, cannot fly, they move in irrigated water. Macropterous form are dominant at the post flowering stage, these one are dominant at the pre flowering stage. The egg laying capacity is lesser in Macropteran form, whereas in Bractypterian form, the egg laying capacity is more. Now you can see the nymphs which are infested and the bottom of the stem in the picture. Young nymphs are whitish in color as you see in the picture in the photo and measures for about 0.7 mm only. And second in star length uh, nymphs are brownish brown, brownish black in color and they congregate at the base of the plant and later in star are yellowish brown in color. So this uh, nymphal period lasts for about 15 to 20 days. So you, you can see the field which is like uh, once upon a time it was burned. 
like appearance so from the photo itself from the image itself you can see the damage nature of damage shows the stage of attack is early growth stage but sometimes serious infestation occurs in the post flowering stage damaging stages are adult and the nymphs nature of the damage are nymphs and adult congregate at the base of the plant and causing hopper burn disease peak appearance is in between the months of october november and january february and the pest pest is more severe in summer crop rather than the winter crop due to ideal condition and loss is heavy in high rainfall conditions both the nymph and adult they will suck the sap from the leaf sheath and the stem at lower portion of the plant just above the water level continuous drying up of the plant due to feed uh, feeding the crop turn yellow flowered uh, plants by rapid drying up of the plant called as hopper burn in concentric rings and later spread to entire plot in severe case here comes the uh, images that showing the circulatory dry patches on the field that shows the infestation and the particular part that uh, this uh, picture shows a completely disappeared uh, plants upper burn more common in panicul irrigation stage to maturity stage of the crop here also you can see the uh, image that shows viral disease this is because of grassy stunt virus that it act as a vector of viral disease so this also spread a disease called as grassy stunt virus that's why the name nephrotitic virus ends the most favorable conditions of the pest outbreak uh, or the reason for brown plant hopper outbreak is temperature might be 29 degrees celsius relative humidity is 80 to 90 continuous cultivation of susceptible varieties like uh, chillies and onion continuous uh, cultivation of monocropping the same type of crop in the same uh, for number of generations use of high dosage of nitrogenous fertilizers like urea then closer planting then indiscriminate use of pesticide or the reasons for it thank you students